for Beckett from China. That's from Beckett. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector, welcome back to a new video. And in today's video we are going to talk about the Retro FC Plus Edition. I already did a review about the Retro FC, check it out if you're done with this one. And also I named the Retro FC a little spot in the top 10 of 2018 best portable systems. But now, 2019, we're having here the Plus Edition. So I want to know what is so plus about. We got an extra controller, that's one thing for sure. Um, but yeah, didn't they change something out with the system? Let's unbox it and let's find out. All right, this is what inside this little box. It comes with an EV-out cable because all oh, this Retro FC got a TV-out function. Um, we having here a USB connection for charging up the internal battery. And no, we cannot swap out games or do anything of that. We have in here a little controller. This is the same one as the retro arcade machine. We're getting here a little bit better manual quality. But yeah, some basic explanations. Um, nothing very important. And of course, we got the system itself. All right, a little overview for the people who are new to the channel and new with this product. We have in here the D-pad. This thing feels very nice. Uh, we're getting in the reset. This resets the system total. A little bit of a bummer you're always going to get with this menu. I always need to choose the language and etc. We're having here the AB, and th these are just actually turbo buttons because the 8 bit games are on the system, um, just requires two buttons. So these are the turbo. Select start. Here at the back, we are finding the battery. This is an old school Nokia battery. Here we got this little speaker. At the top, we're finding the charging port, TV out, and the power switch. All right. Let's take a close look at the menu and what kind of games are we going to get. Alright, let's do a little scroll through the game list. Um, I can already tell you they swapped out the games, uh, put them in a different order. I see already some good games like Adventure Island 1 or 2, Mario Bros, Ninja Gaiden. There are some homebrew games like, or heck yeah, homebrew games like Z Plants vs Zombies. And again, the D-Pod feels very nice. Hey, we got Miss pac -Man. Wait, the Mighty Bomb Jack. Alright, yes. I know that one. Serious Charlie is on it. Donkey Kongs. Donkey Kong 3 with a typo. Pinball. Some familiar games. Alright, the Plus Edition. How does a game run? Kung Fu Panda. We're going to start with that one. Oh, I've seen this game before. Yeah, I've seen this game before. Oh man, they forgot the music. All right, here we go again. But the game seems to be running just fine. Double kill. All right. Let's try the original game. Hmm. All the sound effects right here. Yep. Alright, she's been running just fine. Let's try out a homebrew game. Super Mario Bros. number 6. Oh, this is um, Tiny Toons. They even use the Tiny Toon screen there. Oh, this is Tiny Toons. Oh my god. Oh yeah, they only replaced the main character. <laughs> hey, this one got just the original title screen. Mostly put them hack version or... Hmm. 
Mm-mm-mm. Oh yeah. It can be me, but what I'm noticing with this LCD screen, there are not a lot of details uh, with the enemies. And that's what we're going to get with a lot of these cheap ass systems. Crossfire! I never heard of this game. Oh, everybody having a gun? Oh, they just want to get a knife. Stop shooting stop shoot the freaking grenades. I am a real man. I punch everything. Oh, oh, we can, oh, I can throw grenades. Oh, that is really cool. By the way, I never played this game before. <laughs> I must say, if I master the game a little bit, I can enjoy it. Alright, and of course we're going to test out this controller. No, I just want to test it out. And I just plugged it in before starting the game. But it doesn't matter how or when. Uh, let's play. Versus player. Just for, to the freaking stage. And the controller plays very nice. So for the final conclusion about the Retro C Plus. It got exactly the same game amount, 168, but they swap out some games and they put all the games on a different number or another position. There's a little bit of bummer because I really loved the previous model, uh, if you look at the games and where they put them. The Plus Edition, I think you need to look more to the controller itself. This is what we're going to get extra with. It works just fine as you can see. Um, yeah, it's really awesome. Plug it into your television with a TV out function and use a controller. So yeah, use it as a console. That is really awesome. So let me know what you think of this. Uh, do you have the previous model? I'm going to do a comparison side by side because I'm really curious what are the differences. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell because you get notified for upcoming videos. And see you next time. Bye bye.